Are you wondering what at row means in Smartsheet? Maybe you've been recommended to use it, or maybe you've even stumbled across it. Well, either way, I'm going to be explaining to you exactly what it is today and why you'd want to use it and then how to do so. So first and foremost, you probably want to know what it is. Well, at row is an argument that you can add to certain formulas in Smartsheet. And with this particular functionality, you can automatically change cell data for a large number of rows at a time without having to remap for each time you want to, want to use it or use a formula. So the benefits kind of follow on and, and it enables you really to copy and paste a formula without having to manually change the row numbers or cell references. So it's going to save you a lot of time and it will also prevent you from having to, you know, go into formulas and look really closely and, and you know, all the, all the difficult challenges that that comes with. So where do you add it? Well, you know, how do you basically use it? Well, you add it to the logical expression part of a formula or function. And I'm going to give you an example with some test data uh, on the right hand side here, and that will help explain it. And you'll see how it's kind of used. So in this example, I'm about to show you, essentially, all we want to do is we want to automate the rag, um, the rag status that says states, that should be status. We want to automate the rag status or, you know, this particular, you know, that's going to appear in this column here. So what we've got here, imagine this is a complete column. Here we've got the different tasks and here we've got the completion date. So in this in this um, column here, I basically want a rag status for each, you know, of, the, of, of where we're at, basically comparing the the completion against the date um, for each task. So you see yellow written here and that is the consequence of this formula here. So what I'm basically saying is if this is checked, um, that's fine. You obviously don't need a rag status if it isn't checked then look into this cell here and provide us with a status color depending on what the result is in reflection or in comparison to today. So I've put today's date in here just for your kind of reference. Um, so it's going to, it's given me a yellow basically um, based on this formula. But the purpose of this, this illustration is to show you the at row. So what I'm doing here is instead of putting, you know, test data 10, we're putting at row. So it's, it's looking within the particular row that the formula sits within. So if I drag this down, you'll see automatically the benefit there because I haven't had to kind of go in and map, but it's, it's, it's brought the row down to the row beneath the row 11. So by having at row, I've not had it needed to change this to 11 or, you know, um, if I was copying it to another another destination in the sheet, I might need to change the mapping as well. But at row gives you that basically that 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 time saving ability. So that's what it looks like. Um, and you know, and if I start changing, you know, some of these dates, then you'll see this change in uh, consequence of that, just due due to the way that the formula is set up. Um, also, if I start checking these. Uh, you'll see that it changes on the right hand side as well. So you've got some automation here. Um, very, very useful. Um, and I would recommend using the at row functionality. Maybe not in this particular example. Uh, you know, you might not have an example like this in your own sheet, um, but you know, you get the idea. It's, it's, it's mapping the formula to that particular row. This is just the use case. And, you know, to, to finish this off, I'd probably edit the column properties. I'd put symbols and I'd put it down to uh, this particular one here. And so this is driven by a formula. You know, so if I drag this down a little bit more and start putting some dates in, we're getting this all update based on the formula and the at row functionality. So let's whack this well into the future and let's whack this well into the past. So I hope this video was useful. That's what at row means in Smartsheet. I hope, um, I wish you all the best with, with Smartsheet. If you need any further training, then do check out my channel. I've got a lot of different videos on Smartsheet. Um, so, and do consider subscribing for that very reason alone. Um, I, I produce a lot of videos like this. Um, and if you like the video as well, that tells me I should continue making vid more videos like this. Um, so with all of that said, I hope you have an excellent day.